Unlock the Rosetta Stone within, conquering languages at any age. Ever dreamt of strolling down Persian boulevards, ordering una pizza margarita like a pro, or debating Canton German? You might think language learning is a childhood superpower, reserved for those blessed with tongues of fire and globe-trotting parents. But fear not, fellow language enthusiasts, for I'm here to shatter that myth. Imagine a world where age is just a number on your birth certificate, not a barrier to fluency. Picture yourself bypassing the rote memorization and awkward classroom dialogues, and connecting with languages in a way that feels natural, almost magical. Well, that's exactly what we'll explore today. Forget the tired narrative about the critical period for language acquisition. Recent studies have thrown that misconception out the window. Revealing the stunning truth, adults can not only learn languages but excel at them. Our brains are wired for learning and with the right approach. We can tap into that potential like a maestro conducting a symphony of words. So, what's the secret sauce? It's a two-ingredient recipe, associative memory formation and spaced repetition. Forget the bland cafeteria food of traditional language learning. Today, we're serving up a gourmet feast for your mind, with two secret ingredients that will make language acquisition. Feel more like a delectable adventure than a dry textbook exercise. Imagine this, instead of memorizing the French word for dog as just another string of letters, you create a living, breathing memory. Close your eyes and transport yourself to a bustling Parisian park. A fluffy poodle, its fur a cascading cloud of white, barks excitedly at a playful squirrel. The aroma of freshly baked croissants wafts from a nearby cough, and the warm Parisian sun kisses your skin. You laugh as the poodle playfully chases a leaf, its joyous yaps echoing through the park. That's the magic of associative memory formation. By connecting the word Chen to this multi-sensory experience, you're not just memorizing. You're embedding it deeply within your brain's neural network. The sight, sound, smell, and even emotions associated with the memory act as powerful anchors, ensuring that Chen and dog become permanently linked. But it's not just about poodles and croissants. This method works with any word, any language. Picture yourself exploring a bustling Tokyo market, the word Konnichiwa hello echoing on every corner. Imagine the exhilaration of conquering a challenging Italian hike. Forever connecting, Arivado arrived with the sense of accomplishment. To put this methodology into practice, one can utilize tools such as Anthropic's Close Master, an eye-powered spaced repetition system. Instead of relying solely on translation, vocabulary is introduced through images sourced from native language bloggers, allowing for rich associations beyond mere word-to-word -word equivalents. Additionally, incorporating sentences provides context and reinforces grammar rules. Regular review sessions further strengthen the memories formed. But the journey doesn't end there. Spaced repetition, like a wise learning coach, ensures these memories stick. Let's dive deeper into the magic of spaced repetition, imagining or planting a seed of new vocabulary. Why in your mind? Now, picture watering it sporadically, not like a frantic gardener hosing down a gallon at once. Spaced repetition works like a gentle drizzle, delivering the perfect amount of exposure at precisely the right moment. Instead of cramming every day with flashcards, spaced repetition strategically spaces out your review sessions. Think of it like this. Day one, you encounter the word magnifique in a close master sentence. You understand the context, but you're not entirely sure of the precise definition. Day three, close master throws the word at you again, embedded in a new sentence alongside an image of a bustling Parisian market. Aha, uh -huh, the context clicks and you grasp the meaning. Day 10, months later, while reading a French news article, Magnifique pops up again. No sweat, you instantly recall the vibrant market scene and confidently identify its meaning. It's like a well-timed game of hide and seek, where the word is it and your brain is the eager detective. Each encounter reveals a bit more, each spaced interval strengthens the connection until finally. Aha! 
The meaning is crystal clear. But don't stop there. Spaced repetition is more than just timing. It's about personalizing the experience. Difficulty adjustments as you master the word, close master might throw in tougher sentences, pushing you to think critically and solidify your understanding. Multiple meanings, did you know magnifique can also refer to splendid? Spaced repetition might expose you to these nuances, enriching your vocabulary bank. Creative connections. Maybe you connect Magnifique to a personal memory of a delicious pastry you savored in Paris. Now the word evokes not just the definition, but also a delightful gustatory experience. Spaced repetition isn't just water the plant. It tailors it grow, adapt, and blossom into a vibrant, versatile language skill. So, embrace the spaced repetitions, fellow language adventurer, and watch your linguistic garden flourish. The proof is in the pudding, or should I say, the croissants. Individuals using this method have mastered French, German, even Japanese languages traditionally considered difficult. They're not just stringing words together. They're reading books, writing essays, and holding conversations that would make native speakers proud. Now, Let's address the elephant in the room. Is this a silver bullet for everyone? While the results are promising, further research is needed. But here's the beauty. You can be your own research project. Dive in, experiment, and see how your brain lights up with each new language connection. Remember, language learning is not just about mastering grammar. It's about unlocking doors to new cultures, perspectives, and friendships. It's about pushing your limits and discovering hidden talents within yourself. So, are you ready to embark on this linguistic adventure? Grab your metaphorical passport, pack your curiosity, and get ready to unlock the Rosetta Stone within. Remember, age is just a number and the world of languages is waiting to be explored. Now go forth and conquer.